Frictions and contradictions increase as more and more economic entities cooperate and become interdependent. And when two parties have a dispute, what's often needed is commercial arbitration. Well, China has released its annual report on international commercial arbitration, saying it will continue to push forward the reform of its own system. Our reporter Xi Jia has more. International commercial arbitration gives global clients an alternative in settling disputes. Without resorting to the courts, this can be crucial when parties come from different legal and cultural backgrounds, and it's making inroads into China. To enhance its economic connection with world, China has released its annual report for the sector. The China International Commercial Arbitration Annual Report is the first of its kind released by the China Academy of Arbitration Law, and it's also the first time China makes an annual report on foreign-related arbitration, which is certainly a milestone. The One Belt One Road initiative will bring opportunities and challenges to China's commercial arbitration. Yu Jianlong, vice president of China Academy of Arbitration Law, says China can play a mentoring role while it learns by doing and from example. Most of the countries involved in the One Belt One Road initiative are developing countries. Their arbitration organizations are not advanced enough, which leaves us chances to expand business and help them reach a higher level at the same time. China will absorb the successful experiences of international commercial arbitration from other countries. It will also actively participate in making international regulations and adjust its pace for internationalization. Xi Jia, CCTV, Beijing.